My nigga Sully be holding it down. Hands in the air. Oh, shit. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run oh, into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah. Right. Oh, she got an army? But she had a run in with them. That's oh, putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. Ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And it's locked. Right. I was just trying to check. I got. I understand. Oh, shit, don't there break. you go. I see some fence up there. Nathan, go check this out. There we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always yeah. a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Dead end. Not bad. Fuck on, man. Fuck up the way, bro. Oh. Hey, uh, should be worried if Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Good job. This way. 
Yeah, I did it right. Okay. Hey, look, the vents. It's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. All right, come on, dude. Let's see. Shit. Come over here, bro. Or it ain't shit over here. You just gotta stand up the way and hold the damn ladder. That's it. Right there. That bed's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Quello con un parrucchino e quella roba sul naso. There's no shortage of water here. Ah, sciacqua tu dei piatti. Tanto non capirebbe la differenza. Sbrigati però, sai che a questa gente non piace aspettare. Prendi una bottiglia da 3 euro e andiamo. Come can we get more wine? Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Yeah. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. My lady. Thank you. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Right Sam, there. look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Oh, you boosting me up. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Heads up, heads up. Buonasera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay. I know Let's get I to the power room. I had off there, too. So I was just cutting off the power. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. 
Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Not a... <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? I'm going on. Sully? Great. Nope, not that way. Go there. Can I come up this? you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? 10 years, 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. So Any advice on what I should uh, pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Rafe! <laughs> well, I can't even bid on it. You get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. Okay. God, why did I pick the power room?
Can you reach that? I want to whoop dude ass. Yep, he right there. Or probably like him down there. Oh, there's more than one. Puoi dire di no. Ecco fatto. Oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Scott. Bene, we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now uh, the bid has reached 130,000. Nope. We are now at 140. Your bid, Signore, takes us Damn all it. the way to 150,000 euros. It's gotta be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, okay. start to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a second. Bidding starts 160,000 euros in the room. Yes. Signore's bid makes 170,000. We are now at 180,000 euros. <laughs> Gotcha. Now this to 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak! Sparish! What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. 
All right, let's go.